Yeah, who it is? Oh, hello? This is Raul from the cab company. They said you bought the business, so I wanted to introduce myself. All right, cool. Shit. Good to meet you. It's a solid business. We do well. Some of our regulars can be a little fussy, but what do you expect in LS, right? I'll give you a call if anything comes up, okay? All right, sounds good. bother you, but we have a young lady asking for a driver who's really got his finger on the pulse of Los Santos. And you're the only guy I can think of. Are you busy right now? Yeah, I should be able to handle that. She's at the Galileo Observatory on Galileo Avenue at Vinewood Hills. Thanks for this. Oh, that shit? Chop, what you been eating? I gotta get a regimen for your ass. Can you take me to a decent clothes store? Any clothes store? Shit, what exactly are you looking for? You tell me. The taxi depot said you were the guy in the know. I need something to wear for this big meeting I've got coming up. I'm pitching a movie idea to some studio execs. All right, I think I got a couple of options for you. Oh, thank you. I'm still new in town. I only moved to Los Santos last month. I think that if you're really serious about getting into the industry, you have to be LS-based. This is huge for me. I've been reworking this screenplay for eight years now. I can't reveal too much, but it's going to completely redefine the science fiction slash erotica genre. That's a genre? It will be if I nail this presentation. I need a look that screams powerful, independent woman, but still vulnerable and prepared to do anything to get ahead. A little bit school teacher, a little bit school girl. A hint of their mother, but not too much. That's what men want, right? Shit, a hint of my mother would be a dime bag and a blowtorch. Oh, wow. That's raw. I feel your pain. My movie is really a metaphor for the struggles of growing up middle class during the economic boom of the 90s. I'm gonna use it to heal. I can't believe my luck. I didn't think it would happen this fast. I'm out at a bar, get talking to this older guy, and guess what? Turns out he's a big movie producer who thinks I've got huge potential. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of those around. Well, I'm meeting him at his apartment. Apparently, he only invites girls there if he's serious about taking it to the next level. Shit, it sounds like I should be taking you to an emanation instead of a clothes store. No, he was definitely legit. Really seemed to believe in my talent. Still, you watch yourself, all right? Don't worry about me. I've got some strict. So, will this work for you? Looks awesome. Thank you so much. You watch yourself at that meeting, all right? So, 
know how to do this to you, boss. But we got a guy Felipe needs picking up. Rich kid. His dad's a big client of ours. He's insisting we send the best driver we got. Okay, sure, I got you. Thanks, Mr. Clinton. He's waiting outside the Mount Zona Medical Center. Driver! I need to get up to the Vinewood sign right now! You can really let it rip, bro! There's no such thing as too crazy in my book, okay? You got it. And don't worry, I'll throw in a fat tip if you get me there in a seriously rad fashion. My dad's big time rich. I'm really not kidding, bro. Go nuts, leave it all on the road. I don't have limits, only next levels that haven't been reached yet. Yeah, smell that burning rubber. Okay, okay, I get it. Anything? Hey, my car! Hey, baby. Oh yeah, I'm back in business, baby. Let's do this. See me in the car. There it is, adrenaline boner. Man, I hope I get there in time. So the boy's bleeding about some crazy stunt at the Vinewood sign. Tell me you don't feel alive. Probably gonna wingsuit off it or some shit. Yeah, come on, put me back in hospital. This crew, I mean, talk about insane. I kept messaging them, but they didn't answer. So I'm like, screw it. I'll just get up there and throw myself into the mix. This is a sick bunch of dudes. Now this is what I'm talking about. They're always bantering with me. Yeah! Yeah! Now that's what I'm talking about! They're always bantering with me, telling me to go home and stop hanging out with them. <laughs> Great guys. Not far now. I say we step it up and go off-road, bro. Do it! You are killing it, bro! Son of a bitch! Here we are, dog. Hope that worked out for you. Totally! I was looking for next level, and brother, you delivered! Keep it real. I'm out. Now, where are those guys? I, I don't see them anywhere. Regulars, Otis needs a ride and he's demanding VIP treatment. Doesn't sound like he's in great shape. Can you take this one? Yeah, I could deal that one for you. He's outside the Up in Adamburg or opposite the Gentry Manor in downtown Vinewood. So where to? Vespucci Canal, <laughs> San Andreas Ave and Bay City. And take it real easy. I'm feeling a little woozy, man. Yeah, whatever you say, man. Oh, uh, God. You sure you okay? You seem kind of faded, dawg. Nah, I'm solid, man. I think I ate a bad shrimp or something. Must have been one drunk-ass shrimp. Jesus, you're worse than my wife. Yeah, I got it under control now. Yeah, I stopped for a few months, then I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> oh man, slow down. I'm gonna puke. Oh, fuck. Come on, dawg. Not in the ride. Damn, that's nasty. Man, you could have slowed down, man. Don't blame me if it went everywhere. 
Those two glasses of wine messed you up good, huh? Haven't you ever heard of food poisoning? Damn, I asked for VIP treatment and this is what I get? It's supposed to massage my ego, not beat it up. My line of work. And there's a lot of pressure to apply. The events, the entertaining. I have to stay hooked up on the nightlife scene. The day I don't have an end with every doorman in town, I'm finished. Look, I got my shit together. I know my limits. If you say so, dog. but I got a cleaning bill that says otherwise. <sighs> now that's much better. I guess this is it. Not the smoothest of rides, as evidenced by the Vomni incident, but we made it. Thanks. This is Rob's? Man, you in some serious denial, homie. You don't turn up a party empty-handed. <laughs> don't you know anything? <laughs> waiting for a pickup saying they're big VIPs. I don't want to send the wrong person. Ed. Do you think you'll be able to take this one? Gotta do my thing for the business, I guess. Great. They're waiting at the entrance to the Richmond Hotel on West Eclipse Boulevard. We got three stops, bro. Polly here is the closest. Mays Bank, Alta Street. Hey, quick as you can, we're kind of late. As you can see, we're pretty good for a tip. Drunk massage. Whoop, whoop, on the company dime. We're skipping work. Banking, dude, they want you there 24-7. You have to let off a little steam sometimes. No use making all that money if you can't enjoy it. On that note, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Holla! Blaze that bad boy. Yo, are you 420 friendly, bro? Whatever. Oh, yeah. Bail out blunt. It is happening. Nothing like a few drinks and a smoke before gambling with someone's retirement. Driver, you want to hit? Nah, man, I'm cold. Smells kind of weak to me. This is prime green, man. <laughs> yeah, this is high end. Gets delivered by a guy with a briefcase and shit. I'm good, man. I'll leave it to you professionals. Whoa, take it to the dome. <laughs> this is some straight up dank. Will you hurry up with that? Seriously, puff puff pass, Polly. Sharing is caring. <coughs> Ah, <laughs> lightweight. Next stop's Fleece the Bank on Hallwick Avenue. Thanks, bro. Hello. Is that the last of the weed? Yeah, afraid so. Man, I'm so relaxed. That Olga gives a serious massage. I still can't believe Polly got the dude. Polly asked for the dude. Deep tissue. No hands. Whatever. Yours looked like she used to be a dude. So, did you end happy? Didn't get a chance. I blew my wad into the towel halfway through. <laughs> you can't need a man's thigh like that. Good times, bro. Okay, screw going back to work. I need to get some junk food in me. Can you drop me out at 24-7? I think there's one on Innocence Boulevard. You ever been to the Richmond Hotel? It ain't one of my usuals, nah. You should check it out. 
Killer cocktails, great spa. Can't believe we only dropped two grand this time. Must be slipping. But if we tipped any more, it would have been awkward. What about those two, huh? Top guys, always a crazy time. Lobster in the sauna, though? Schoolboy error. I think, I think fat girl's vagina. You live and you learn, am I right? I think we nearly did, thank God. Hey boss, we got a guy just called for a car and he was very specific about who he wanted. Any chance you could drive him down to the port of Los Santos? That's what Bill said. Sure, just tell me where I gotta go. I think a uh, guy's called Walt. He's out at MU Nation in Pillbox Hill. Car for Walter? Hey, where you going? Down to the port, the shipyard off Signal Street. Hey, you work at the docks? No. There's some freaks who hang out down there. I need to talk to them about my niece. She hasn't been home in three days. Have you heard of the Lost? They're a biker gang. Oh, yeah. Them punks is like weeds, man. Can't seem to get rid of them. You should watch yourself, man. They nasty. They're cowards. You stand up to them. You look them in the eye. You see who they really are. Bunch of scared kids. Never had any friends at school living out some homoerotic fantasy. A few tattoos, a leather jacket, and a bandana don't make you tough. I've worked construction my whole life. Guys who don't need to act tough because they are. Not dressing up like some girly glam rock reject. And even the few that did, it was on the weekends on their own time. Now, nah, young thugs these days, they're all... They're all mouth and nothing to back it up. They don't scare me. I just want to find out where Kelly is. Ever since my sister's loser husband ran out on her, I've been like a father to her. And I know I'm strict. You have to. You ha Okay, uh, we're nearly there. Here, take this gun. Hey, what? And you said you just wanted to talk to them. Worst case scenario, something goes wrong. I thought you'd be okay with it. Why? Because I'm a young black man from Chamberlain Hill? Is this why you asked for me? You're not okay with it? Yeah, I'm cool with it. That's not the point. It's just a precaution. Okay, I'm gonna go have a word with these guys. Just wait here. Just be cool, all right? This don't feel right. What's going on? Don't worry about them. Worry about the bad math of me and two hookers equaling no action. No, he looks really pissed. I wanna see this. Not this guy again. Hey! Where's my niece, you punks? Where's Kelly? I know you got her. I told you. Don't worry about Kelly. She loves us. Some nights, she loves us all at the same time. <laughs> Fuck you! What, you think I'm scared of you? You think you're gangsters? Tell me where she is or I'll shoot! Oh shit. Now out of respect for your whore of a niece, I'm gonna give you three seconds to get the fuck out of here. Three, two, one. Okay. Take down this son of a bitch! An old man and a cab driver! And that's all you got? You little punk! Thanks for stepping in. I know that was a dumb move. Here, take some money, please. Now we better clear out before the cops show up. Man, that's dumb.
dumb luck right there. It's Raul at the taxi depot. A young lady just called. She says she wants someone discreet and professional. Sounds urgent. There ain't many of our drivers fit that description. Have you got the time to take it? All right, where's the pickup? Great. Uh, the pickup's on Fudge Lane in uh, Boro Heights. She'll be waiting outside. Can you take me to the Central Los Santos Medical Center off Capitol Boulevard? You got it. You okay? Are you sick? No. I'm gonna surprise my fiancé. He's a doctor there. Man, what is it with girls and doctors? I've been asking myself the same question. I just read on his email the son of a bitch is leaving work to meet up with some slut. You read his email? He's marrying me. You shouldn't have anything to hide. And lucky I did. All right, we're here. Wait, there he is. Okay, I want you to follow him, but don't make it obvious. You know like they do in the movies. You sure about this? I want to see where this bitch lives. Look her in the eye. Let her see my banging body. <laughs> okay. This is perfect. The idiot doesn't even have a clue. Come on, don't let that snake give us a slip. Put your foot down, get in on him! Good, good, he can't see us from here. I bet she's a fat pig who demands it in the ass because that's the only way she can keep a man interested. Look at him like a dog in heat. It's disgusting. You don't see him in such a hurry to come home to see me. What would have happened if I had threatened to cut myself if he didn't give me the password to his email account? A patient. That's cheating code if I ever saw it. I'm not stupid. Do I sound stupid to you? Uh, what are you gonna do when you get there? Oh, I'll think of something. Don't you worry about that. We used to have sex every morning. Now, it's like he's too scared to even touch me. Cheating, lying, weasel of a man. I was just at my mom's place. She always said he'd stray as soon as he qualified. Too good for El Burro Heights now, huh? <laughs> so he done this before? Oh, he must have done. He's hardly ever home. He's constantly working late. He's always tired. Ain't that the deal when you a doctor? He tries to pull the wool over my eyes, tell me he loves me. But I see through his games. I've seen the way he looks at women on TV. When he was flunking out of med school, I was the one who was there for him. To think I call some... He's pulling into that apartment building, and I see her. She's there waiting for him, the bitch! back there? <laughs> but we got him. Okay, that skank is mine. Caleb, what are you doing here? This is her? This is a slut you've chosen over me? She's a patient of mine. Hey, come on, are you crazy? Put the gun down. Ugh! Ugh!
Hi, Mr. Clinton. A call just came in from a guy saying he's got a couple of stops and he'll pay extra if we send the best we got. All of the drivers we have right now are kind of green. Are you available to do the job? Yeah, I could deal with that one for you. His plane just landed. Says he'll be waiting for you outside the main terminal at Los Santos Airport. Over here! Hey, sugar. So where to? Yeah, gonna take me downtown? Little Gems Jewelry, Atley Street. No. Look at all these people. It's scraping an existence, living by someone else's rules. Which people? Driver, let me ask you something. Uh, do you believe that fate is just an opportunity you haven't seized yet? Say what? Do you believe that every road leads to more than one place? Hey, man, you want to take a different route or something? No, no. Uh, geez, this pseudo-spiritual stuff always used to work on the young guys. What I'm asking you for is one extraordinary hour out of your ordinary life, and I'll make you rich. I still had no idea what you're talking about. Uh... I'm gonna rob that jewelry store, and I want you to be my getaway driver. Are you for real? Do I look like a man who tells jokes? Sounds kinda shady to me, dawg. I don't even know you. That's why it's perfect. No ties. We handle our business, we go our separate ways. And you got all the angles covered, right? You done the planning board and mapped it all out. Planning board? Okay, you, you've been watching too many gangster movies, my friend. Look, you don't have to worry. I'm a professional, I do my research, different cities, different targets, you keep switching it up, you stay smart, you stay free. Man, I don't know. Okay, this is the store right up here on this block. Park in front of that alleyway. Okay, wait here, I'll be back in a minute. Keep the engine running. Up, cops all over us. Oh, I, I, I don't believe this. The alarm system must have been hooked right into the LSPD. response time was that? Come on, if they catch us, we're gonna do some serious time here. This is where you have to step it up, man. Look, I go down, you go down. Now, come on! Okay, I think we finally lost him. Man, I thought we were done back there for sure. Man, you and me both. Well, let's not take any more chances. Just get me to the airport and we'll go our separate ways. What the hell are you doing? I don't even know how we came out of that. <laughs> well, I still got it. And I was the one that got us out of that mess. What can I say? People excel under great leadership. Man, are you for real? So much for clean and quiet. What the hell happened with the loan? Hey, look, there's not much I can do about an alarm. Virtually everyone has them now. But I, I wasn't expecting the security guard. That came out of left field. At least I had the mask on. What mask? Oh, shit. 
I knew I'd forgotten something. And what was that explosion? Oh, that? Yeah, that was a total mistake. Dropped a grenade on my way out. Oh, man. I'm an idiot. Oh, since when were you the expert on robbing jewelry stores? We did it, that's... Pull it together! You're falling apart! We did it, that's all that matters, and in a few hours, I'm gonna be back in Liberty City sipping champagne. One last job. <laughs> I know I still had it in me. I've been out of the game for six years. And not another one. I should have known. And don't tell me, you're rich, miserable, and your wife and kids hate you, right? <laughs> oh yeah, they want nothing to do with me. That's why I needed to put this together. Settle some outstanding alimony payments, and then back to enjoying my retirement. Moving around from place to place, looking over my shoulder the whole time, unable to form any... Los Santos Airport. I'm almost home free. So this is it. You did good back there. You kept your cool. Here's your cut. Spend it wisely. Thanks, man. Stay out of trouble, Derek. And maybe I'll see you again, on this side or the other. Maybe not. Ciao. Alonzo just called for a driver. He was being a bit pushy, yeah. He's very particular. Is there any chance you can handle this one for us? I don't know if I can take you. Sure, I can take that. He's waiting outside the USLA campus in Richmond. Sorry to do this to you, boss. He's a bit of a dick. I ain't gonna lie. for Alonso. You took your sweet time. Where you going, man? I will get out underneath the Olympic freeway. Step on it. I like your style. My girl's broken down, idiota. I told her a hundred times about going out without me. And last thing I said was, don't touch the car. How many times do I have to put her back in line? You keep them on a short lease, huh? You have to! All these punks rubbing up on her the whole time. What is with black guys and Latinas? Ain't you got enough women of your own? Man, I ain't even gonna answer that. I caught this cabron making move on her the other week. Some ballas or her family or some bullshit punk-ass little gangster. Bro, he's joined five places. Pow! With one punch! Right like a bitch! Man, I wouldn't run my mouth if I was you. It's talks like that that'll get a homie laid down. Just do your job, Mr. Minimum Wage. Don't try to be something you're not. And this vato she used to work with before I made her quit, I saw a missed call from him one time on her phone and went there with a bat. Look, homie, I'll take you where you need to go. But say the story for someone who don't see right through your ass. Whatever, just drive, way. And now she's calling me. On my way! What was the last thing I said to you about taking the car, huh? Are you that stupid? The crit better be spotless when we get back. You're done? No, no, no. You're done when I say you're done. You understand? Put the hang up on me. She should be just underneath the overpass. girl is banging. How she end up with you? Yeah, I'll definitely tear that up. Shit, maybe I will. What the hell you say? Get the hell out of there! Do you know who I am? What? I'll tear you up, you puta! Come on! <laughs> Sorry about that. No, he had it coming. You did me a favor. Look, I, I know this sounds weird, but can you give me a ride? Least I can do after kicking your boyfriend's ass. Ex-boyfriend. 
I've got friends on Palomino Avenue in Little Seoul. I think I'll go crash there for a few days. You okay? I'm fine. Makes a change for him to be slapped around instead of me. I've been trying to find an out for months, but he's so controlling. I mean, I like a man to be a man, to protect me, but Alonzo's like serial killer crazy. He wouldn't let me go and see my friends. He checked my cell phone every night. He beat up my stepbrother one time for giving me a hug goodbye because he said he wasn't blood. Yeah, I think you could do better. You know, I've never seen anybody stand up to him like that before. Some things you don't let go. Well, I'm Elisa. Most people call me Liz. Frankie. Despite the circumstances, it's nice to meet you, Franklin. Thanks for, well, you know, I know it's not much, but here's my number. You should give me a call sometime. Mr. Clinton, it's Raul, the taxi dispatcher. There's this customer telling me he's a Korean celebrity. I, I think he said his name was Quack. Yeah, anyway, he's uh, saying he's in a big hurry and he wants us to send our top dog. Any chance you could take this job? Gotta do my thing for the business, I guess. Appreciate it, boss. He's outside the 24-7 store in Sandy Shores. Hey, man, where are you going? Vinewood Hills, North Conca Avenue. And step on it, bro. I got a poker game starting in an hour and a half. This is a private game, invitation only. I'm talking high roads. If I'm late for the buy-in, they'll ice me out for sure. It's Mr. Quack, right? Call me k -Wack. That's how I roll over here. Nobody can pronounce my name right. Quack, quack. I'm a shark, not a duck, for real. You probably heard of me. I released a song in Korean on the internet last year called Bitches Got Soul. Just me and a few strippers jumping around a pony went viral. Eight million views. One for every dollar I made last year. Holla. My daddy, he invented the sick bag. What, he invented the paper bag? No, he invented the paper bag with the plastic lining. So your sick don't drip, yo. Keeps your chunder in the bag. Yeah, I think I got it. So next time you blow chunks on a plane, you think of K-Wack. See? You don't mess around behind the wheel, homie. This is why I asked the taxi depot to send their top dog. That's what I'm talking about. You are killing it. Hey, what was you doing out of Sandy Shores anyway? You know it ain't exactly multicultural out there. I was looking at factory sites so I can make sick bags right here in the USA. World's changed, homie. Everyone used to outsource everything to Asia. Now hillbillies will work for less than the Koreans. Hashtag fact. You keep driving like this, I should make the buy-in no worries. I can't wait to get my drink on. Smoke some cigars, wear some sunglasses, kicking ass and taking names, baby! You really know how to handle this whip, dude. We all got our thing. When I get to that poker table, I'm in the zone. I can just sit there for 24 hours in complete silence. Man, I can't even imagine your ass side. Oh yeah, I'm ice cold. A closed book. I'll get inside your head. That was some sick driving, dog. You blew up the spot. Take this. You earned it. <laughs> 